Hey, what's happening, everybody? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hi, I'm Tommy C. This is Shot from the Point News. We have a Cole Kerrigan update. I don't think it's going to go much farther than here. I'll explain that later. But let me get you the facts. Let me get you the information so you'll want to sub and like and share with your friends and all that good stuff. And maybe you watch my podcast at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on another channel. I'll get to that all later. All right? Well, check this out. Cole Kerrigan, he has a... Uh, I, I think it qualifies as a meltdown. A meltdown. No, I'm not getting sued for extortion. But Austin McBroom and his team will be getting arrested for sexual assault. My intentions were wrong in the beginning. That referring to um, attempting to extort money <laughs> from Austin McBroom after Keemstar made a joke in the DMs about getting 500k. <laughs> but he's all straight now. He's a, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. The moral compass just needed a little alignment, and we're good. We're good. We're getting the baddies where they belong, behind bars. But I realized what was more important. That is why my video uploaded with factual evidence. I don't know. I think some of it's been debunked. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. You'll kind of get sidetracked if you're willing to silence yourself over, uh, you know, $100,000. Uh, no amount of money was ever involved. So Cole's not about money. I don't know why you guys are putting that on him. But of course, his company claimed Bovax when he was uh, critical of him. <laughs> this is all about money. Who are you kidding? This is this is berserk. This is berserk. Uh, here, here's more of it. Um, uh, here's the rest of the conversation that he posted that was left out. The police are involved. I will not be speaking about this anymore. I bet the police aren't involved. You need, you need, you need, you need, you need uh, victims to speak out before the police get involved in something like this. And another thing is, is uh, getting sued for extortion. Flipping back here for a second, you don't get sued for extortion. You get FBI, the feds. I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. What are you looking at, Ricky? So the meltdown continues. Here's the rest of the conversation he posted that was left out. The police are involved, and I will not be speaking about this anymore. Uh, this gets into, um, I don't think the police are involved. I don't think any victims, victims won't cooperate with you. Why would they go to the police? One of those alleged victims cleared Austin McBroom, said he had no part of any incident. And um, really just to go over this and why I think he's, this guy's lost his crap. Uh, he starts bickering with the alleged victims, calling them a brat in, at one stage. And, uh, you know, they clearly don't trust him. And, and, and why would you? I mean, you know, here's the thing. Like, if there's something here, nobody's going to buy it because of the source, because of the way it's been handled, because, again, one of the alleged victims cleared the, the biggest name suspect, which would be Austin McBroom. Said he had nothing to do with it. And this guy, Cole Kerrigan, is accusing, accusing, I guess, his father, him, and uh, I'm, I'm hearing an NBA player of sexual assault. There's nothing here. The police aren't involved with this. They're not going to want to hear from you anyway. They're going to want to hear from the victims. I mean, this is um, a comedy of errors. I mean, the whole thing looks like, like, I thought I had a clear path to YouTube fame by being a hero exposing somebody's assault and I I failed miserably it turns out I'm not really telling the truth and I'm in it just for money and clout well uh, on my way out the door because I am canceled I'll try to put you in jail but that's gonna be tough because the wind <laughs> nobody's cooperating <laughs> Uh, to wrap this up, I don't think this story is going anywhere from here, or much. There may be one more drama alert video. Uh, I think um, Cole, I think this was a weird attempt to salvage a reputation. Um, probably knowing at some level it wasn't going to work. Here's the thing. It keeps the, um, when Austin McRoom announced that he was going to sue or, or contact the authorities for extortion... He's going to be actually had been extorted. So they're going to need some proof that he 
that Cole Kerrigan went to him and says, you give me $100,000, I'll shut up, right? I mean, he may have a case of slander and defamation and all that stuff, but that costs money. Uh, and it's difficult to prove as Vic, Vic Mignogna. Here's what I predict happens. Cole goes quiet, and so does Austin. This is what I think happens. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But this way, because I, I just find it really, really strange that the uh, the lawyer uh, who would be essentially getting involved in a high profile case would want his name blacked out. Mm. I wonder if we just don't hear anything about this again. How many stories have you seen like that over the years? Face Banks Barley House. I bet you all didn't know that he had to pay out. Nobody followed up on that. Remember that back in 2017? Saying he was going to sue the pants off the place, saying somebody sexually assaulted his girlfriend. None of it was true, and he ended up having to pay the bar all sorts of damages. Um, violating uh, a, a recent Ohio law <laughs> that says you can't go on social media and say this place sucks. <laughs> Much less say somebody got sexually assaulted. So I think this will just die, just like that story. It'll get buried. And it's sort of like Keemstar said, you know, if there's something here, and I really think that's the only way it actually comes back from the dead, is if one of these victims comes forward um, and says, this happened to me, not to Twitter, to the police. And then we start getting information from the police department and, and, and the trial, and we know who's been arrested. I think this thing's it, it's dead. It's, this is dead. This is dead. I don't, I don't see Austin following through. Um, uh, it, another thing is like, you know, what if they're, look, Cole Carrick is a liar, but what if there's a grain of truth to one or two things he said? Going after Cole will only shine a light on that. And I, I, something tells me there's something here. It's probably nowhere near, it, it, it was probably just probably tremendously exaggerated by Cole Kerrigan. I, I, it is, I mean, I don't know, just this this girl being a victim of, of sorts. She, she's the strangest victim ever. She's running around clearing people. And, and we don't even know what was done. We don't even know what happened. So that's my prediction. Unless, unless one of these girls goes to police and Cole Kerrigan has nothing to do with it. I don't think uh, anybody will be arrested for assault of any kind. And I have a feeling that Cole's going to walk too because they're not going to sell him. They're not going to sell him. Another thing is the extortion is a is is a crime. It's not like it's not something you go to civil court for. It's something you go to criminal court for. So that's it. That's all I got. I'll give you an update uh, if there is one. God, I hope not. Bye.